Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today we talk about the Act 2 selection results for the Valorant China Evolution series. Um, and I mean, it's not really a least surprise of who won. I'll just get it out of the way. It was Edward Gaming. No shocker there. Um, but before we get into the group stages, before we get into the playoffs, let's first have a look at the teams. So here are the teams of the participants who participated in Act 2. So Edward Gaming, Fun Plus Phoenix, Tracy Sports and Rare Atom, all those four, they came from the Act 1 variation because they came from top four. And the four playing um, teams includes Billy Gaming, Attack and Soul Esports, Royal Never Give Up, and Tyler, the first sign that we get to see Royal, uh, Royal Never Give Up here. I think also Attack and Soul Esports, but I might, but I might be wrong about, about that. Uh, so at least that's very, very exciting here that plays as well. You might know them, you might not know them, it doesn't really matter. So let's first start off with the group stage. We'll first start off with Group A, and then we'll work our, and then we'll work our way through Group B. So Group A, um, Billy Billy Gaming they beat out Trace Esports. No really surprise. I mean Billy Billy Gaming they got your seventy back in the lineup, which is which is great, and they look ten times better. I'll be honest, compared to when without um, your seventy. Um, no, obviously, um, no hard feeling. Leave the comment who the sub player was but he was actually pretty decent to be fair um but they just look 10 times better though though with yosemite and it shows here 2-1 victory for them against trace esports 13 6 on lotus for for billy billy uh for billy billy for billy billy i cannot speak 37 on buying for trace and then 34 on breeze for billy billy and it was wizzy game mvp ever gaming they beat our roll never give up i'll be honest everyone never gave up they were going to be lost either way so it really did not matter uh, two of victory for Edward Gaming, 13-5 on Lotus, 13-8 on Breathe, it was Kang Kang Gang MVP. Winners match, once again, no surprises here of who won, it was Edward Gaming beat now Billy Lee Billy Gaming, 14-12 on Breeze, which was pretty close, and 13-5 on Split, which was not close at all, and Kang Kang once again again MVP. Elimination match, Trace Esports versus Rod Never Give Up, and... Uh, Haven was pretty close, 13-10, you know, and I thought, you know, they were going to continue that momentum coming to... Uh, no, they didn't, 13-2. It was pretty bad for for Roll Never Give Up. Uh, Spawn also ha uh, had some good moments there, but uh, it was not enough, sadly. And it was you game MVP. And in the design the match of the uh, the rematch of the opening match, which was Trace Esports versus Billy Billy Game, and it was a 2 0 victory for Trace Esports against Billy Lee Billy. Now, I think Trace Esports, they have. Turned it up big time, I'll be honest, during this tournament. That was super, super good. Um, definitely, they, they've also made some massive improvements as well. So, really, really excited um, uh, about that. And I hope, um, I mean, I, I don't think any of the teams have been announced yet of who's going to be in partnership. Uh, I do hope Chase Esports is one of them because they're looking pretty good and pretty scary as well. 14-12 on Ascent and 13-4 on Split and was Fang and Afghan MVP. So group A all done. Edward Game and Trace Esports, they advance into the playoffs and they will be also advancing now to Act 3 uh, as well. So Group B now, Rare Adam versus Tyloo. It was, a rare, it was actually, it was Rare Adam beating out Tyloo. No surprise there, I'll be honest. 2-1 victory for Rare Adam. 39 on Miner for Tyloo. Then 36 on Lotus, 39 on Breeze and was Stu gained MVP. A bit of a surprise here, I'll be honest. Attack and Soul Esports being now Fun Plus Phoenix, which I'll be honest, FPX, they were kind of nowhere, I'll be honest, um, throughout this whole tournament. I don't know where they were, but they weren't the FPX that I knew from Act 1. They were just completely different. I mean, I don't know what they were doing, but they were just completely different compared to when uh, compared to uh, how they were in, in Act 1. But either way, 16-14 on the set, 13-10 on Lotus, and it's pretty fitting that you recall who used to be a part of FPX and Alton basically replaced him, got MVP for that. Winners match, Attack and Soul Esports, they continue their run as they beat our Atom 2-0. 13 on Split, 13-10 on Haven, it was Life get MVP. Attack and Soul, they're looking pretty good now. Um, hopefully they continue this, this momentum into Act 3. Elimination match, it was a Fun Plus Phoenix eliminating Tyloo from uh, from the group. 13-11 on Lotus and 13-3 on Split to make it 2-0. And it was TZH getting MVP. And in the sign of match, once again, FBX, they were kind of nowhere. I mean, Rare Adam, they just kind of just beat them out from pure skill, I'll be honest, and just countering and stuff. 15-13 um, uh, on Split, 13-11 on Haven. It was still very, very close. It was a 2 victory, though, sadly, for Rare Adam and Stu getting MVP. So... Basically, Attack and Soul Esports and Rare Adam, they advance into not only the playoffs, but also to the next act of Act 3. So speaking of that, let's now talk about the playoffs. And 
First start of the Up Bracket Slammer Finals was Trace Esports uh, beat down Attack and Soul Esports. A 2 1 victory for Trace. 13 on Haven for Trace. 13 11 on Bind for Attack and Soul. And 13 11 on Split for Trace. And was you game MVP. Every game, you know, 2 0 victory for them against Rare Adam. No surprises there, I'll be honest. Uh, 13 6 on Lotus. 13 2 on Ascent. It was Kang Kang game MVP. Lower back semi finals now. Attack and Soul Esports. They beat our. Uh, sorry, they lost to Rare Adam to be eliminated from the playoffs to finish fourth place. 13 11. Sorry, 13 10 on Lotus uh, for Rare Adam. 13 11 on Haven for Attack and Soul. And then 13 8 on Split for Rare Adam. And Viva gained MVP. And this was a bit of a surprise to me. Who saw Trace Esports um, beating out Edward Gaming? The last time Edward Gaming lost domestically was against Attack and Soul Esports uh, for the qualifications for, for Masters Tokyo. That was the the only time that, well, I should say the last time where Edward Gaming lost um, domestically and not internationally. So this was a bit of a surprise because even that Trace Esports, they were kind of shaky in my opinion in a, against Attack and Soul. But here they look like a completely different team. I mean, I don't know what they had for breakfast, but my god, they were different. And um, they had 35 on Sunset, 13-10 on Lotus, it was you getting MVP. Lower back of finals, though, ever gave me, they were hot and ready as they beat uh, uh, Rare Adam. A 3-1 victory, though, however, because, you know, I mean, they were a bit shaky coming off that loss against against Tracy Sports. And I'm guessing as well, Rare Adam like, probably also had some, some strats against them and countered them pretty well, especially on Lotus. But... 3-1 victory either way for Edward Gaming, 13-10 on Split, 13-2 on Lotus for Rare Adam, then 13-10 on Bind, 13-5 on Breeze for Edward Gaming. And it was little Kang Kang actually getting MVP, it was actually like Hao Dong, who saw that coming, the IGL himself, um, getting the MVP. And in the grand final, I mean, Edward Gaming, they were just out for blood, they were just out for revenge, really, against Trace East. It was a 3-0 victory for Edward Gaming against Trace, 13-9 on Ascent, 37 on Haven, 13-5 on Sunset. Um, and if you don't know who the grand final was, uh, MVP was, it was basically Kang Kang. I checked, I, I checked the vault and everything. It was Kang Kang who got the grand final MVP. I'm not even surprised at the, at the slightest. So like I normally do, I normally go on to VLR to talk about only the best of five matches that have been only the lower final and the grand final. So let's just first off with lower final against, with Edward Gaming versus Rare Atom. Uh, stats wise, I mean... I can probably see why Hao Dong was voted as as of the MVP. I mean, he got the most ACS. Yes, I think I think that's how MVP normally works. Obviously, um, I think I mean I, I'll be honest. I think I would have probably had Shishu in my opinion to be uh to be MVP. He was really really good throughout this season. Well, not this season. Um, in this in this game, uh, Viva Yi Hao, both of them had a very good job as well. Martin as well have it having some good glimpse of flashes. Very disappointed on Stu. I mean, Stu, obviously, he kind of popped off in, in Act 1, and here he kind of just was not, not really anywhere. I mean, it was mainly like Viva and and and, and uh, Yihao as well to really just clean up everything. But here's, but here's the split, 13-10 on split. I mean, I, I mean, speak of Stu there, he is at the top of the leaderboard for Rare Adam. Kang Kang as well doing well for every game. 13-2. Yeah, they, yeah, this is where um they kind of struggled here. <laughs> Yihao doing a great job of clearing Martin, Viva, and and your man as well. I should probably mention. Buying 13-10. Um pretty good. I mean it was a six full first half to the side of Edward Gamey, so it wasn't uh too bad. Um oh wait, wait, that's not six full. Let's say CS yeah, six six seven five. That's what it was. Seven five. Seven five actually, I'm a moron. Um, but yeah, she should he, he did a great job as well. And then Breeze, uh, I think that's also a bit of a, I think that's the same for yeah, 7 5 as well in the first half, so not too bad as well. And where Adam, they didn't even win in a single attack round, none of them, no more, no, no attack rounds in the second half. The only attack, the only wins that they got was in the defense. So yeah, they kind of struggled in the, in the attack for Breeze performance wise. Um, not there. I don't know why it's not there, but it's, I don't think it's available yet. So uh, I think by the, the time this video is posted, you probably see this, like all the stats and stuff. Uh, let's now have a look now at the grand finals, which I bet there's not gonna be any stats here. Um, obviously, uh, Edward Gaming they beat out Tracy Sports three zero. Uh, I think a special mention goes to nobody. He was that he was phenomenal in uh in this game. Really good. Coming up with these I mean Chi Chu as well came up with a huge clutch on Haven, I remember. Um 
And shout out to Hal Dongs with, with, with an upright here on Sunset, which is quite funny. Um, Fang F, he also did really well. Uh, had a lot of glimpse of flashes. Um, that's not, I mean, that's all I really can really say. I mean, everyone else, they kind of struggled, I'll be honest, in Trace Esports. The only one who didn't struggle was Fang F, who performed extremely well. Uh, 39 on the cent, though, for the lead, like I said, for Ember Gaming. Kang Kang doing a good job, plus 11. Fang F once again, plus 4. Fang F once again at the at the top of the leaderboard for Trace Esports, plus, plus 2. Nobody was plus 11 for Ember Gaming. And, um, not really too sure about Sunset. Uh, but I think Kang Kang really popped up. I think, no, I think nobody else popped up as well. Uh, so they're not updated as officially as I uh, as I'm making this video, which is still on the 29th of October. Um, so yeah, they're not really updated yet. Hopefully VLR can update it pretty soon. Maybe by the time this video is uploaded, you'll probably see the updated stats. But either way, Ever Gaming, uh, congratulations to them of winning Act Two. Now we still need to talk about the standings of obviously for the China Evolution series. So. Act two, Edward Gaming. So I should say for the for the top ten, which I'm only going to be mentioning the top ten. So we have so we have Edward Gaming, Rare Atom, Tracy Sports, Fun Plus Phoenix, and Attack and Soul, uh, Billy Billy Gaming, Tyler Royal Never Give Up, Dragon Ranger, and Ninjas in Pajamas, uh, round down the top ten. So obviously, like I mentioned uh, before, uh, Edward Gaming, Rare Atom, Tracy Sports, and uh, Attack and Soul, both, uh, all those four will be in the act, uh, will be in Act 3, so I think they'll have, like, a, they will already have, like, the minimum points that you would get from Act 3, so, uh, they're basically fine. Um, FPX, Billy Billy, Tyloo, Roll Never Give Up, uh, all those teams, they, and, and, and below as well, um, they, they, they basically need to, uh, just, at least qualify to play in to get to get a lot of points there and then qualify as well to the main event to also get a lot of points there against the others of the competition. And speak of that, like I mentioned before, these are the teams Edward Gaming, Tag and Soul, Trace, and Rare Atom. The minimum points that they would get is 170. So that would be a pretty big boost, I should say, for like, like Ninjas and Pajamas, for example. Uh, mainly these two, considering that they didn't qualify into the main event in, in Act 2. So that would be a good confidence boost. Maybe even Team Weber, who is now in eleventh place, which you can't see, um, and below as well. I think that'd be some good points that that, that they can grab. Uh, but now I would like you now to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me, especially on this channel. We're trying to aim at least at least um one ninety or even or the, yeah one ninety or even two hundred subscribers by the end of this year. So hopefully we get to manage that. Um, but that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys the next time in the next one. Goodbye. I'm not afraid to